Behind every great sportsman, you will often find an influential figure, a motivator, a guardian, who has orchestrated their success down the years. For world number one, Rafael Nadal, that man is his uncle, Tony. A constant presence since the very start. Tony Nadal is really one of these fascinating only in tennis characters. Really an interesting dynamic, and I think the fact that Rafa has gotten to this point in his career, and there's no coaching change, and there isn't any, you know, hey, we need a break. I mean, clearly, Nadal believes in his uncle. He's done a really terrific job guiding Rafa through the ups and the downs of his injury issues and bringing him back in the right way. And I'm not privy to what they talk about uh, too often, but it, it's been impressive to see Rafa solve problems as they come up in his career. The family, for sure, at the beginning was the the key fact that I started to play tennis, my uncle in particular, that was a coach of, of the village, the club of On My Village in Manacor. Uncle Tony has a simple but very effective philosophy when it comes to coaching. For me it's important that the, the, the player believe in the coach. When you work with a, a good uh, player, when you work with uh, a good guy that has a good talent, what you need is uh, have, uh, having a good communication and give some um, keys for playing a little better. Most top players change their coaches several times during their careers, but the Nadals have stayed together, united by a special bond. There's an uh, element of trust in there that you can never, you never compare with most probably any other coach-player relationship. I have this possibility because I am the, his uncle. I don't earn money with uh, Rafael and I, I can't say what I want. And I think that was always good for him. Tony has helped make Rafa one of the greats. Their two decades together enable the coach to give a unique insight into what has made this player so good. I think every player has uh, something special, every big player. I think he has a good technique. Many uh, people think that uh, Rafael has only uh, good uh, legs and strong uh, mentality. Sometimes he's, he play not too good, but uh, he want to win. And this is uh, the most important uh, thing for him. There is one characteristic they share. Uncle Tony's relentless desire to push Rafa even further after so much success is what keeps them conquering the game. I think all the things can, imp can uh, improve. Uh, is, uh, he has the possibility to improve many things because uh, every player can improve. It's not easy, but uh, every player can do it. When Djokovic posed a problem to him, they figured out a way to change his game and adjust. So, you know, Uncle Tony's done a really terrific job with Rafa. They've been through a lot, but theirs is a bond that won't be broken. So we'll leave the last word on Uncle Tony to his nephew. The family in general gave it to me everything. And uh, they, they was able to, to support me in the, the low moments, in the good moments when I was a kid driving me during, during the, the weekends to, to every tournament. We are a family that I, we love sport. We have the, the chance that uh, some years before I have my, my son who was a, a, a very good football player in the national team. We went all together to see uh, his matches and now with Rafael we go all together and uh, I think for Rafael is is good because uh, he knows that always we has uh, he has the support of the whole family <laughs>